and you're glad you tuned in because we are going to go nuts with this recipe. It's gluten free, it's sweet, it's delicious and it uses up any leftover nuts that you have in the pantry. We're making an orange and almond flourless cake. So the first step is to cook your oranges down. Now what have we done with these oranges, Sophie? Um, you peeled the top bits. So. Yes, perfect. So we've peeled the top and the bottom off. And why do you think we did that? Um, because... Uh, to get off the core. Yeah, so it's much easier to, to get all the outside out, uh, off and the inside out into the blender a little bit later. So the next thing we're going to do is pour some water over the top. We want enough to cover, so let's cover that. Good job, and we're going to cook that for about an hour and a half until the oranges are super duper soft. Wonderful. Perfect, I reckon that's enough, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. perfect. And at this point, if you want, you can even pop some aromats in there, some spices, and then you just leave that alone. And then, guess what happens? <laughs> the magic of time cooks the oranges down until they look quite different. Now we're gonna take them out, because they've cooled. So you've gotta wait until they cool before you can start peeling. And now we're gonna peel it off, and you can see how easy it is to do. So in fact, you can do one each, Vanessa, here's an orange to peel and one for you as well, Sophie. It just comes straight off. Oh, there we go. The other great thing cooking these oranges down is any bitterness that may have existed in the pith is gone. Oh, so it's nice and orange, sweet. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Now, at this point, you can kind of separate it out into segments. This, uh, you can pop in your compost or you can whiz it up for other things, but give that a smell because it's lovely and sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is crack these eggs. Now I'm going to show you how to crack one using the crunch time method. I'm going to show you how to crack it onto the bench and then crack it open with wow. zero shell. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do for the rest of these and we're going to crack it into a separate bowl. Why? Because you're going to need a bigger bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is, just in case you get any shell inside or if it's a dodgy egg, you're not ruining the entire mix by putting it all straight into the blender. So let's crack one egg at a time into the blender. Excellent. Yeah. So that egg goes in. <laughs> there we go. So into the blender, Alice? Brilliant. Into the blender. Yes. Thank you kindly. And keep going with the rest of those eggs. Sophie, do you want to crack a few too? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, there's another bowl. Perfect. Great. Your shell game is excellent. Keep Ooh, going. All right. Now we're going to pop in the last wet ingredient. Give that a smell. Tell me what you think that is, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Vanilla essence. Vanilla essence, exactly. Yes. Yes, okay, so pop that in the blender. And then the main event. Give this a smell. So it's the cooked down oranges that we're going to pop in the blender as well. Fantastic. From a height? Yes. From a, well, maybe not too much of a height. <laughs> Slippery things. Slippery. Okay, now let's talk these dry ingredients. We've got some sugar. Pop that in. Perfect. Vanessa, why don't you pop that in? In the blender? Yep. Okay. We'll just wait for Nick to segment those oranges because that'll kind of help everything to combine. Okay. And then the sugar, the caster sugar. Again, depending on how sweet your oranges are, you can adjust that recipe. Then these almonds. Now, what do you think that is? I don't know, but I feel like it has something to do with that. It definitely does. It's called almond meal, and it's just milled down almonds until they act kind of like a flower. So we're going to pop both of those inside the blender. So pop them in. Vanessa? There you go. And then these, so again, you can use whatever nuts you've got in the pantry. What are these nuts? I know them, but walnuts. I walnuts. Walnuts, yeah. brilliant. Okay, in they go as well. And finally, the baking powder. Ooh. There we go, a bit of baking powder in the top. And now let's whiz it all up until it's nice and smooth. It looks a bit like a temple of doom, what's going on in here. Oh, 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 oh. Can get it working. Ooh. You want to do the honours, Vanessa? There you go, press start for us. Now, making gluten-free cakes, um, you will find that they take a lot longer to cook in the oven. Give it a shake as well, Nick, to combine all the ingredients. And then, we're going to pour that perfectly smooth mix into the cake tin there. That's gorgeous. Who wants to do the honours? Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if you want the recipe, you can head to the website. It's 
all there for all you. Of all, of all of it. All of it. Get it all in there. And that's a lined baking tin. Lovely. And then into the oven at 190 degrees for between an hour to an hour and a half. And I say between and about because it will depend on what ingredients you have inside. And you know when the cake's ready, how? Because it's um, cut. It's risen? Yeah. Yes. I normally put a skewer in and see if it's wet. Exactly. Okay. Wonderful. So if your skewer comes out dry, yep. then you know your cake's ready. Oh. Okay. Now, thank you, Nick. The magic of... There you are. The magic of television. That's what it comes out as about an hour to an hour and a half later. And as soon as it comes out, that's when you can use the syrup that you've reserved from those cooked oranges to pour over the top. That'll absorb and make a lovely moist cake. Then we let it cool. So we've already put that, you can see the syrup there. Oh, yeah. Give it a little touch through the middle. You can feel how spongy and soft that is. Thank you, Nick. Now it's time to decorate. So we've got these orange fillets or segments that we're going to pop around the cake. Who wants to do that? Me. Excellent. Sophie, that's yours. And we're also going to pipe some little rosettes. So I'll pipe the first little rosette. And then who wants to do the rest? Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. So. Gorgeous work. Wow. Vanessa, that's, you're a natural. You've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep decorating this cake and probably dig into. <laughs> and we'll have to see you right after this break. Cut! <laughs> Crunch time.